Hey guys, sometimes, especially on weeknights, I have no idea what I'm cooking for dinner. Sometimes until three in the afternoon, I don't know what's for dinner. But this is a go-to that I make a lot because I usually have everything on hand. Sausage and peppers. It's quick. It doesn't have a lot of ingredients. It's gluten-free. There's no sauce used. We just eat it as is. We also, there's no pasta. We like it like this with maybe a side salad or a vegetable and we're good to go. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we're over at the stove and this just takes a few minutes to throw together. So let's go over the ingredients real quick and get cooking. So to start with, I have 18 ounces of mild Italian sausage that I've just cut into chunks. So that's one of those six link packages that you can get. You could use spicy if you wanted to, of course, or sweet. And then of course, we need to have our vegetables. So I've got one to two bell peppers that I've just cut into strips and Sometimes I'll do one pepper, sometimes I'll do two, sometimes I'll do one and a half. It just depends on how big the pepper is. I also have half of a medium onion that I have sliced up into pieces as well. Again, that's all to taste, depending on how much onion you want. I have a couple cloves of garlic that I've minced up. And I actually have some fresh parsley, so we'll add that at the end, just a couple tablespoons of that. So let's put that off to the side. And I'm going to add my sausage and I am going to add it to the cold pan. I don't think that I really need to add any olive oil to this because the sausage is going to put out some fat anyway. So I actually like to do this in a couple stages because I want my sausage to be cooked through and I want it to brown up nicely. So I'm going to cook it by itself until it's mostly cooked and I do that over medium high heat. So we're gonna cook this up, which will take oh, probably five to 10 minutes. Just depends on how fast it cooks. So we'll cook that up and then move forward with the recipe. Okay, our sausage is all browned up. And what I like to do is line my bowl up with a paper towel and take the sausage out and let it drain a little bit and get some of that excess fat off of it. And I'll cut my heat back to medium. I actually started cutting it back a little earlier when they started cooking up faster. So now I'm gonna cut it back to medium though, definitely if I haven't done it by now. And we wanna add our veg. We're gonna leave the grease in there that's there. That's good flavor. And we wanna add our onion and peppers. And you wanna to toss them around in that pan and coat them in that sausage grease. And at this point, you want to cook it until they're as tender as you like them. So if you want them to be a little crispy still, then by all means, go ahead and lightly cook them and add the rest of your stuff back in. We have them a little bit softer than that. So I'm going to cook it a little bit longer. So now that that's all tossed, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm gonna let this cook for just a minute or so, and then I'll add the fresh garlic. If you didn't have fresh garlic, you could add some garlic powder. And I'm using fresh parsley, but a lot of times, if I don't have fresh parsley in the house, I will throw some dried parsley 
or some dried Italian seasoning in at this point. Okay, I think those have cooked for enough for that. Let's add the garlic. Toss it around for about 30 seconds or so. And now we want to add our sausage back in and let it finish cooking through. Guys, this looks like it's about done, so let's move over to the counter and give it a try. Okay guys, let's fold this up and give it a try. Should we get peppers and onions? A lot of times we'll top this with some grated Parmesan cheese before we eat it. But as you can see, there's no sauce, no pasta, low carb, meaty with vegetables. Have it with a side salad, have it with some vegetables. Let's taste it. So guys, that sausage has a ton of flavor. So I like that we didn't add any oil to the pan before we started you know, browning the sausage because all that sausage has flavored the vegetables as well. You're not having extra oil because we did try to drain some of that off by putting it in the bowl with paper towel and taking a little bit extra off of it. But this has got you know, plenty of flavor from that sausage, you know, the fat in the sausage. The parsley is a little bit of freshness in the mix. Salt and pepper was what we did for seasoning. Have it with a salad, have it with some veg. You're good to go on this easy dinner. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a like. Please consider subscribing so you don't miss any other videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.